M0FXB. Welcome back to my videos on the TRD Radio H3 and the modifications stroke brand new firmware written from scratch by Marcus Dudley. Please check out the TRD Radio hacking Facebook page to get more information. But in this video, we're going to have a go at loading it. So you will need to download the IAP downloading or firmware downloader and I'll show you the link. It's just here, I will, you just click download, it asks you to register, and then when you download, if you go here in my folder, TID Radio, the unlock version I've got here, when you double click, and you'll see, see it says firmware upgrade, now you've got the original firmware there, and there are several, but one of them is the TDH3 app, double click that, and just run it, I'm going to say no because I've already got it. And you'll end up with this tiny little yellow file or shortcut. As you can see there, it's like a tiny yellow radio and it's called IAP, TID Radio H3 IAP. It's not the H8, it's the H3. So, okay, we've got our TID Radio in the background there connected via the cable. I'm using the all-in-one cable to my PC. And if I go to my device manager, right click here, device manager, and then double click ports, you can see it's 16 there. Let's just show you that, there, that, there it is there. Port 16, okay, important that you've got that. So then we go back to the software and click the yellow folder and you end up with this window here. You do need to go COM, so just go COM, 16, click OK and you're now able to talk to your H3 radio. Turn it off because to load the firmware, uh, we put our finger on the PTT and hit start. But first of all, you need to open the file that you're going to add or the firmware file that you've chosen to add. So let's click open file here. There's the one, Nick FW PRV. And remember, this is completely experimental. It's in very, very early stages. Uh, but let's just double click it and it's put it in there. You can see it there. And then we'll turn off the radio. We'll click start start and then we'll hold our PTT and turn on and if it goes in you will see the blue line as, as you're seeing on mine it says down oh wow what is all that look how cool that looks so I you know I've never used this before ever so I've got my node on I'm going to type in a frequency so we'll go four three four uh, five, oh, we need to remember to put in the dot. So this is where I'm going to get unstuck now. <laughs> so I don't think I'm going to use this opportunity to show you exactly how to use it. Three, four, and then where's the dot gone? Oh, well, close. And then we'll see if we can go up and down. It's five, five, zero for my node. So I unplug the lead if that always helps. Wow. Mobile version of it or the Windows version? So I'm just going to show you what I can see. So we've got VFO A here, Squelch, FM, Signal. Wait for someone to speak. Signal along the top, and it, it does look fantastic. Probably looks better in real life than it does on this camera because it's quite bright. I'm trying to dim it down. But let's try a few more functions. It looks like you've got the you know sub band showing there as well. We'll press menu and you've got the squelch. So we're going up with the menu. So naught is squelch. We'll do that with I've just selected it and then we'll go up to three, squelch, and then keep going through the menu. Bandwidth, step modulation, mic gain, TX power, brightness. Well maybe we could turn that one down. It's a bit bright for my camera. Select. CTCSS, receive and transmit. Key tones. I, it's just going to be very brief. I am going to come back to this, but it's just really late at night here. So uh, I just thought I'd quickly do this. Um, and then we're going to go back with this. We know we can type the frequencies. If I hold, I'm just going to hold down the blue one, see what it does. Okay, and then we'll go back, back to the main screen, and let's just, yeah, PTT, like so, what does that do, second PTT, 
See if we can go VFO A and B. No, not on that, but it's probably a different button. Oh, what happened there? You see that? Oh, just typing the noughts, okay. Hold down the start. You know me, I'm winging it. Oh, torch still works. Sounding great, looking great. So yeah, thanks very much, Marcus. I'll be doing lots more videos learning this. It's Hubnet in the background there, my Hubnet node. If you've never used that before, definitely sign up for that. One million percent join the the group here that Marcus has created, Nick Shaw. And I have joined, but I didn't get the confirmation email. But I have joined TID Radio H3 and H8. And let's have some new fun with this uh, device. And if you look at the actual photograph that Nick has posted, you've got Squelch, Wide or Narrow, CT, CR, FM, Group. Group. So you've got groups on this one. So, yeah, of course, I don't know how to enter groups, channels. And I've noticed as well when I was looking, there's actually another small program which I'll show you. If we look here, Nick for um, FW program. So is it frequency right program? We've got this here. And I'll have a go at using it, of course. Uh, so I move all this stuff out of the way. Like so. Put that there for now. Get rid of that image. Fun times. And then um, it says at the bottom here, choose your your port. So I'll go 16. And shall I go load? Ah, that's for loading a thing. So how do I read? I'll read. No. Oh, let me put the cable back in. This is advised. Connect your cable before you read. Right, read. So, and you can obviously load stuff. Read. Now let's double check the COM port. We'll go right click, device manager. Yes, it is 16. So I'll just close it and then I'll reopen it. It might need to be in the same folder as, as everything else, but I don't know, I don't know, you know me. Uh, we learn together, and that is what I love about my channel, is we're all a bunch of idiots, except for Marcus, and we uh, we learn together. Read. Ooh, it went black that time. Oh, actually, look, we didn't have the right com. 16, read. It's possible, of course I've got no memory channels in there. Right, let's put one in there, see if it will... Um... Let me type, not at the moment, uh, click, I'll do the tick here, aha, okay, let's do it on number two, we're just going to call it CAPS HubNet Frequency 434.550 and it puts it in there for me, we only want a transmit tone. Do we have to type it, do we? Hmm. Uh, TX power, numbers there, so I'm not really sure. But anyway, let's just um, write it anyway. So I think we wrote that. And then we'll close it, reopen it, and we'll try and read. Uh, da, da, da. Like so. Uh, so we're back in, COM16. And then we'll go read. Uh, no, maybe I didn't send it. Anyway, I think that's enough for now. More to learn. Brand new. Lots of work. You know, and remember, this is all voluntary for the people that moan. You know, like, be quiet. This is all voluntary fun. Bye for now. Massive thanks to everyone involved. 7-3.